Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today, we're gonna to talk about the turbo shot. Let's get into it. So to start with the turbo shot, you may be asking, what is it? Well, basically it's high flow, low pressure. So what we're aiming for is a three to one ratio. So if you were doing 18 in, you want 54 out, a maximum of six bar in about 20 seconds. Now that is obviously just the baseline based on the paper, which I'll, I'll link below. Um, I won't get too fine into the detail. It's quite a scientific paper, but basically that's the gist of it. Now, what I found is, is, is basically if we run to that 20 second time, regardless of, of pressure, the shot for me is a little bit too thin. Um, there's not much body there. There's not much texture, not much mouth feel. So what I've done is basically taken that ground ever so slightly finer, and then we've increased the shot time to about 25 seconds, and that's given it a much better mouth feel, better body, and it also cuts a lot better with milk. So what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna pull a few shots and we're gonna do some tasting. So I prepped a shot, we're just gonna take a glass and then we're just gonna see the time will be on here and we'll see the pressure we get to and I'll keep an eye on the weight. Let's go. So we reached a peak of about three and a half, four bars there. So 20 seconds has given us a yield of about 49. So let's give it a taste. So first taste test of that shot. Give it a stir. Cheers. So it's got, it's right off the bat. The acidity is slightly muted and it's very sweet. There's a lot of sweetness, but I don't know if you can see it. It's very, very thin. It's not massively to my taste. It's so thin. You know, I'd liken it to basically drinking a filter. It's that thin. It's like drinking filter coffee, but it is tasty. It's just not got the desired mouthfeel I want. So what we're going to do is we're just going to grind that ever so slightly finer and we'll have another go. So back again, ground up slightly finer. Let's see what we get this time. I'm hoping for a bit of a longer shot time. So let's see. So we're ramping up again. We've hit about four to four and a half bar of pressure there. Already at 20 grams. Lots of shooting everywhere, lots of mess. You will get that. So I'm going for 54. Right there. 25 seconds. So I think that is going to be a lot better. So let's give it a try. So yeah, I think I stopped the first shot actually a little bit early. One thing I would say is, as you, you probably can or can't see, it does create an absolute channeling mess. So what I'd probably say is, even though a, a puck screen does um, help, probably use a spout with port filter if you can, because it's just going to create it. But look, we can already see, look at the crema on the top compared. Much thicker. You see, that doesn't have the same level of sweetness. So what we've got now is we've got less sweetness, but we have got more body and more mouthfeel. So for a difference of five seconds, and on a niche we've gone from 21 to 20, we've actually reduced sweetness, but we've increased body and texture. Now, if I'm honest, on this grind, which is a, or this roast, should I say, all press good brew, um, so it's a medium, I would say that the first shot was actually better. The sweeter shot, but the, the more filter-like taste 
was a better shot, but this one would definitely cut better with milk if I was going to make it into a milky drink. But what I would say is, from my experience, I've used it with um, that medium roast. I've used it with another uh, has been another medium. That's basically chocolate and nuts all day. This Fialos, which is a light medium, um, this is peach tea. This is just so fruity, great as an espresso. And then I've got two other bags that are resting again from Django, which is uh, yet to be brewed. It's only about a week, week off roast. But um, yeah, I would say this tends to be this turbo shot is definitely better um, as an espresso rather than mixed with milk. But if you run it slightly longer, so I guess it's not typically a turbo, but at the end of the day, this is what it's about. It's about taste, it's about preference, it's about working within the guidelines and then sort of tweaking them to your preference. I mean, for me, everyone says the standard nine bar shot, 25 to 35 seconds, 18 in 36 out. That's not for me. I prefer a seven to eight bar shot in about 25, 26, 27 seconds, you know? So horses for courses, each to their own. But what I would say is, it's definitely worth trying out. Also, quickly just to mention, uh, I am using the pre-infusion only sort of hack or shot. Um, I'll link a video above to that if you're not already doing it. Basically, I'm set at, if I have a look, the pre-infusion is set to 72 currently. So that's obviously limiting the pressure as well. Um, if you're using full pressure or you're using a machine without a pressure gauge, you know, I really don't think it matters. Um, if I really wanted to, I could definitely work this to get closer to the six, six bar. I know if I went to six bar, I would definitely get that better mouthfeel I'm looking for. But to be honest, I think without doing too much messing about, you know, obviously, if you want to really get into it and, and mess about with the finite details, absolutely go for it. But if you want something that's pretty easy, basically just take your machine and grind coarser and you get a pleasant probably a better shot in ways all for it so yeah at the minute um shout out to whoever uh, put out a community post actually said what videos do you want to see someone said a turbo shot so uh thanks for that because uh, yeah these are great and um i highly recommend you you try it out and uh let me know how you get on so I hope you guys found that video interesting. Um, you can pull this shot on any machine. You don't necessarily need a pressure gauge. You don't need anything specific and you don't really need to change any of your normal settings. Basically all you need to do is change your grinder and that's about it. Um, so I hope you liked it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Comments appreciated. Any future videos you want, let me know. I'll see if I can accommodate those. Please subscribe to the channel. Hope you have a great day. I'll catch you in the next one.